Hello guys and welcome back to Divide et Impera where we're playing as Massalia and um, yeah I think we're at quite an interesting point in the game because we've conquered um, two cities, we've had some success in our battles but um, we are at war with both Rome and Carthage and um, you know I can't really see Syracuse and Epirus <laughs> delaying them uh, too long. So, um, yeah, we've, um, let's say, had an interesting point where we've enjoyed some early successes, but um, we face quite, quite the external threat, and I think it's only the fact that I've got Liguria, maybe the Sursitani as buffers. Um, so, what I need to do is obviously consolidate our recent gains, but think about future expansion. And um, I think essentially our options are: do we, you know, do we try and take on Carthage, maybe on um, Corsica, Sardinia? Um, do we have a pop at Rome? Um, I don't know. I just feel if we if we take Corsica and Sardinia, the Romans will eventually attack us. Uh, Carthage, we won't be able to knock Carthage out of the war, so it will continue to attack us. So I feel just taking the offensive is just going to be perhaps a step too far for us right now. Uh, we've only got three provinces, uh, three cities, you know, two of which are very new. Um, so I'm thinking actually what I want to try and do is continue to expand away from those big powerhouses. And the question is, do we expand down into Spain, um, where to get this territory, um, you know, the cities are quite spread out. Um, I think basically that we should, we should go for Burgadala and um, you know kind of mid mid Gaul here um, and um, I don't really see any point in coming over to the north uh, northeast here at all. Um, we're never going to be able to gather all of this territory and hold it. So I think we Basically, try and trade with these guys, you know, as far as we can, stay friendly, and uh, look to expand sort of north, northwest, whilst being on the defensive to the the southeast. Anyway, we need to, to uh, now that we've um, unified this area, choose a um, choose an edict. So public order is obviously through the floor with the um, with the new conquest. Um, so we're going to have to deal with that. Um, how are we in terms of culture? Culture, 60% and increasing. Okay, so that's quite good. Um, so we could go tax harvesting. Um, I I actually control this area, so I don't really need to worry about party loyalty as an edict. Uh, slave population? Um, well, I can't really see boosting the slave population as being good for our... Um, Good for our public order. We could go bread and games, but actually we're running a food deficit at the moment. Um, noble philanthropy um, to reduce building construction costs, reduce unit construction. Mm. Yeah, I mean we are we are we are sort of building earth, but um, export food. I don't want to do that. Sell slaves. Mm. Do you have some slaves? Mercenary. I think we'll just go for plain old tax harvesting, you know. Let's just let's go with go with that. Now what's the garrison at Narbo like? I'm just thinking, so five hundred so, okay, so we've got a bit of a garrison. Not many hoplites, unfortunately. Um I'm just thinking when when we get our rebellion next turn, <laughs> we could be a little bit exposed. But um Ready for is... I'm just wondering whether we should create a governor here, sort of on on land, and maybe have a maybe sort of a second, smaller army, just as a you know, partly a governor, partly kind of a garrison. I think I'm going to do that. Let's raise. Who should we raise for the merchant oligarchs? The Council of Six Hundred. Um. Yeah, let's, let's raise an army from the Council of 600 and we'll go with uh, 
Send the elite top lights. You guys move in Get to, to it, men. the town, and um, I think yeah, we won't we won't we won't give him too much of a force right now. We just wanted it to be a uh, Ready for battle. sort of a governor um, and to stiffen the garrison in case we're uh, we're attacked. Uh, the spy we moved earlier. Okay, so let's end this turn. Oh. No, hang on. Let's just check the diplomacy. So, yeah, uh, do we can, you know? Greetings. Got an aggression pack. Why don't we just trade? Perk. It would benefit Your goods. Well, so Satani. Likewise, I'm not really. You are welcome. All. Of no. Your goods. Well. Um. No, look, let's let's end the turn and we'll see how things see if things update. Okay, we've had the rebellion that we uh, that was inevitable. Uh, oh, quite far away from our force, and uh, the Viv Vivis Viv Viski the Viviski have moved to the border with a full twenty stack army. Um, but I can't leave these rebels continue to um, to do what they want. Um, the households have expanded, yet yeah, enraged populace, and we've obviously issued our edict. Um, we could attack with this general, and that would force. You know, we could use the garrison. I just think they'll then retreat up here, and so we'll be back in the same same difficulty. Oh, the Insubras are once again, or the new new Insubras Confederation under under siege. Commander. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, look. look let's um. For the gods. Let's see. So we've moved them off at least. March. So they should now. They they're obviously going to be recruiting. Commander. Could we attack them again with the garrison? I think we could actually. Destroy them. Oh, we should. Yeah. I'm glad I've done this. And um, I think we can probably. To resolve this, we've got protected. Oh, damn. I feel like I would have killed more of them. Um, we are enslaved. Ready for further orders. Oh, and he has he's just behind the message. He's taken care of. Oh, good, good, good. He just wiped them out. Advance. Good. I'm quite quite happy with the way that that worked command. out. Glad I recruited this guy, and he's a. Uh, He's actually gained more skills, which is nice. Um, yeah, you have Thracian. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have the Thracian helmet. And um, what about? Oh, more tax. Yeah, the treasurer. Absolutely. And um, yeah, this guy's going to be a bit of a mix then between a garrison commander and uh, an administrator. We'll go bureaucrat first. Just to see whether we can stabilize the public order further. Commander. Ready we'll for actually orders. move out of the, the town. Waiting there we go. That's orders. put us into positive public order. And um, what about actually. Uh, yeah, we've. Um, can't do anything for the moment. Let's uh, let's fortify. Actually. The fortifications ready. Bit too bit too close to to the border to be patrolling. I could easily be ambushed. And um, I'm actually going to bring my spy uh, back now so that we can um, we can see what our potential foes are up to. As you command. Can Got a bit of a long way around. I'm not, I'm not in a rush to to bring her back, but um, right. Let's, uh, let's have a look at diplomacy again. Greetings. So, trade agreement. Plain and what if I offer you some purpose, money? and all will be well. A sure thrust strikes home. Up. Yeah. I do yeah. not think our people want. So Satani. I mean, they should like us, really. We're at war, past war with the Volcay. You know, um, 
Greetings to you. Trade I trust you come with payments. honorable words that I can hear kindly. God, I do not I'm, think I'm our people buying. want your trinkets. Trade agreements. Um. Greetings. Now speak plainly. For we are an honest folk and value honest in others. Uh, same with you. Bites at all. No? Okay. I am sure that your wares will... Same. Well met, friend. Say... No. I do not think of... Liguria. Um... Why don't we? Greetings do we not to you. I trust you come with pants? honorable work. No. Your offer was. Now then, Carthage simply hate me. Um, because they're at war with Epirus and Syracuse. And likewise, the, the Romans. Not, uh, not particularly. I can't see either of them wanting peace anytime soon. And uh, our <laughs> friends, actually, uh, are the, the tribe that we're next likely to go to war with. So I don't really want to do anything on that front. Um, politics, let's just double check politics. So we could do with uh, a child, but our wife is not particularly... Um, she's a poisoner, I think, doesn't she? So she's got, uh, she's got some issues when it comes to fertility. Um, any... Is it worth giving her a household? Um, I don't think so. Uh, yeah, let's end this turn. Okay, um, well, the Insubras have obviously been conquered. We'll have to have a look at that in a minute. During that AI turn, I didn't show it, um, the, um, the Averni basically asked for military access. And whilst they are one of the tribes I do want to um, do want to eventually conquer, I'm going to take on, um, you know, going to try and capture basically Burgadala first. So I thought, fine, we'll just have a, we'll allow the military access. They didn't want any money for it or anything, so we just, we've gained military access in their territory. They've got access in ours. So I just thought, well, let's not irritate them unnecessarily by denying it. Um, the um, Nam Nam Namnet uh, Namnetem Nam Namnetem and the Namnetes Namnetes. Um, they basically asked for a non-aggression pact and um, for me to pay them a few hundred. They are at war with the the Pictones. Um, so I thought, why why not? So I've got a non-aggression back now. And it did cost us a little bit, but not, you know, not a vast amount. So I was happy to to go along with that. Let's move this guy here. Um, so war. Okay, so the Vivicti are at war with the Adatani. Who... Are they not quite... Oh no, these are the Helvetis. The Adatani, are they... Oh, hey. They've just taken Taraco. Okay, yeah. Faction destroyed. The Sursitani have been wiped out. Gosh. And the Insubres. So Massalia uh, was upgraded. And we've got more olive oil, which is good. Oh, and look at the... We've got plus 3,000 now. Nice. I imagine that quite a bit of that might be through the trade. So we've encountered the Adatani. And, um... Yeah. What else have they got then? So it's quite interesting for me uh, in that um, the Sursitani obviously were not, were not my buddies. Didn't want to trade with us. Um... So, what about the uh, Edutani? Uh, so they uh, they like the fact that I'm at war with Carthage. Not too much. Culturally, we're different. Um, a flapping tongue that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Be like a trade. spear and have a point. <laughs> 
And I offer you a payment? I do. No. Okay. Well, let's see what let's see what happens. I'm not in the rush to declare war yet because we've still got minus 79 public order. The army is still replenishing, and uh, we haven't converted all of our buildings yet. So let's you know let's take take things steady. Um, and um, continue to move our spy back so that we get more more of an understanding about the uh, the Gallic region. Let's have a look at diplomacy again. Oh, so the Adui really hate us now. Why Why do you dislike us? The treaties with the Averni, oh, I see. Oh, they're at war with the Averni. Right, okay, well. There we go. The Adutani, we've already had a look at them. These guys, uh, well... The Helveti, why do you dislike us? Um, broke treaties? I don't know. Did we break any treaties? I mean, we were friends with the Insubras, so they, they obviously dislike us on that front. The Iceni. Greetings, friend. Yeah, I feel like you could be. We will speak together. I feel like we could be good trade I partners, am sure I that your wares will find a home some. Hmm. I'm a bit worried about the um, the Helvetti. They are quite, they, you know, they're quite warlike. They they really dislike us, and I really don't want to be sucked into conquering this territory. I don't even know if I'd have the strength to do it, to be honest, either. Anyway, let us uh, let's move things along. Okay, so we've uh, got that research, which is great. Oh, Rome secures Magna Greca. Um, our hidden agent exposed. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, the Oracle at Delphi. More public order, more wealth. Oh, that is great. I won't read all of this out, guys. Obviously, the Oracle at Delphi was the um, the most important of uh, of all the oracles in the Greek world. Um, just before I deal with our messages, I will say that the only diplomatic activity we had during the AI's turn was that the the Frisians. Um, they wanted a non-aggression pact, and they wanted to charge me 700 quid, which was um, quite the piss take, I thought. So I, I politely declined that um, that request. Um, okay, so they those guys were at war with each other. Uh, the Venti have now become a confederation, so presumably the Ligurians or the Romans saw them off. Ooh, the Seleucid vassals are rebelling. Obviously, the Seleucid Empire is a long way away from us. And we've got the harbour now, which is good. It's going to only have improved our income. And um, so Firas is still on the scene. And um, yeah, I won't read through all that. So the Romans then must have taken Taurus and kicked Eprius out of southern Italy. Syracuse still stands. Um, I did see a small naval battle between the Carthaginians and the Syracusian fleet, so they're certainly on the on the back foot, being uh, at war with both Carthage and Rome. But, um, let's have a look at technology then. So we've got all three of these now, and better irrigation open to We'll have a look at that in a moment. So more food. So actually, let's have a look on the food front. Minus, minus three here. But generally, we've got a surplus of five, so I'm okay with that. I think we need to look at um, look at the military now because we've done nothing on the military front. So let's uh, let's go down the military side of things. And is there a downside? Right. Okay. So yes, I was going to ask: Is there a downside to increasing the level of our um, agriculture? So minus four public order. Well, we are a bit um, we're pushed on public order but we do have eight turns in which to resolve that situation and it will increase the squalor we've got four sanitation so we'd be all right to take a two squalor hit it will increase banditry gives us a very large amount of food 
will improve um, obviously the wealth generation unit replenishment and improves population growth also gives more supplies um, I, I, th I think on balance it's worth it's worth doing I think on balance we just need to get um, get things under on. control within the next um, within the next eight turns on the public order front. Let's uh, find our spy and Let's continue to journey Ooh, journey I south. See. No further orders. South, uh, yeah, we'll go, go westerly, but there. Uh, so the army is not we replenishing now. I mean, it is winter. That could be. Could be part of the reason. Um, I do not know where where their force is, which is why I'm trying to bring my spy back. So we'll just stay where we are for the moment, so that we've got the city, the new the new city protected. Uh, do we bother doing anything for the diplomatic side this turn? Mm, no, we'll we we'll leave. We'll leave things, and I will end this turn. So nothing of note uh, on the AI faction. Uh, AI faction. Just reading a faction rises up here has confused my brain. On the AI diplomacy front, nothing really happened during that. Uh. So um, our envoy has discovered a woman on a foreign bridge who seems to be blessed with the powers of persuasion. We could hire and gain political fervor, um, or we could get an important character. Um, Ooh, no, let's let's refuse I think, for the moment. And protection is expiring. Uh, okay, yeah, that's not really going to affect us too much. And our household has expanded with an executioner, which will help with public order. At your command. Let's have a look. So we could, gosh, yeah, but. Um, Minus five chance of evading any agents. Minus two growth. Oh <laughs> god, are we chopping off so many heads that it's actually impacting growth? We, le we leave that. I don't think we need to go so Commander. extreme just yet. Yeah, we've got plus 14 public order now, so things are um, yeah, things are improving. We do have banditry, however. Hmm, might have to deal with that by patrolling. Let's, uh, so the army is... Slightly replenishing, not as fast as I would like, though. Let's continue to move our spy Swift and silent, south. The shadow among shadows. Is there nothing else? Here's the uh, the tones, which uh, I think is one of the settlements I actually want to take. Yeah, Lemonium, Lemon, Lemonum, right? And uh, yeah, that's one of their forces. Is that uh, gives us. Pastures, is it? Horses? That could be very, very useful. Um, Ready for battle. I think I'm going to risk moving the army. Is that all? See whether we can improve the replenishment. March. Ready for further orders. Now then, on the recruitment front, I think I want to ditch our. Um, Slingers and um, have all archers just for the. I know the slingers have got get greater range, but the archers just have a bit of a bit more punch people. and seem to win those um, those sort of skirmishing duels um, against against the slingers once once they've got into range. So yeah, we'll change to archers and. Um, Anything on the diplomatic front? I don't think so. Let's have a little chat again with the A flapping tongue that army. speaks without um, wisdom is not welcome. Be like a spear what, what, and have a point. What would I have to do <laughs> to get a trade agreement from you guys? Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? But that is a lot of moolah. Um, no, I don't want a demand payment. 
What about 4,000? Offer that? No, no, no. Um, yeah, let's offer that. So, okay. I think once we go to war with uh, Viviski, then um, they will obviously like us more then, but I'm just a bit reluctant to do that right now. Anyway, let's end this turn. Okay, we've had a trade agreement dissolved. Um, and, uh, yeah, okay, so they were obviously conquered. Um, magnanimous, which is good. Uh, trespasser. Who was trespassing? The Adui. Are they? Are they going to come south? Oh, they've been. They've been in in battle, haven't they? Perhaps they. Uh, I don't know. Who have they been fighting? Hmm. Good. So we've got our archers recruited. Commander. Unhappy population. That is actually an improvement, I believe. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Hmm, let's, let's, where's our spy? Where's our spy? Come, come south. At your service, swift and silent as a shadow. In your yeah, service, come as far south as you possibly tired. can. Right, so their army is recruiting. It's not near our border right now. At your command. So why don't we move On into move. Salia and, um... We could patrol, couldn't we, to um, reduce the banditry? Pasta, damn you all! Yeah, that's uh, that's reduced the banditry down to zero. Public order still improving, which is good. Um, yeah, let's end the turn. So during that AI turn, the uh, Derosi asked me for a non-aggression pact and uh, wanted money off me for it, but they are actually at war with Liguria, and so I thought, well, that's just going to annoy the Ligurians and not, not really benefit me, um, so I rejected that. Um, okay, so we've had, um, had the buildings there in Toloza completed. The public order is now plus 20, so that's good. We have uh, seem to have resolved that situation. Um, I don't think there's any harm in us upgrading the grain pits to a storage room at all. Um, no, let's, let's definitely do that. And then what about the Shrine of Poseidon? Okay, it takes up some cost, obviously. But it will bump up the sanitation and the public order. Let's, let's do that as well, and we'll invest in those. Household has expanded, okay. Uh, fine, yeah. Trouble population, but that is actually an improvement. War declared. The Adui and the Sequani. All right, so that is that is good for us because I did not want to be at war with them. And the the Pictones are at war. Oh, they actually conquered. Uh, I'll that yeah. To, to be fair, I had a um, a message last turn, didn't I? Um, should have alerted me to that. Anyway. How can I be of assistance? Swifter than home. So the Viviski, the they've got two armies and a navy. Um, Moving unseen. Who are down here then? Who are Is their... There nothing else? Who are their neighbours? Is that actually another oh, Camp Chabri? Hmm, okay. So I think we need to move Ready our armies. Oh, let's... How long is this going to take? One turn, one turn, two turns. I will. I do want to replenish our cavalry. Actually, it is uh, it is an important part of our army. What with the phalanx being kind of the defensive block in the middle, the you know like like Alexander's companion cavalry. You know that is the you know, our cavalry is the attacking force. Um, let's just have a on the on the off chance that the bloody Romans and the Carthaginians. You know they're not actually. Deliver Fighting your message us. and be gone back to your home. Uh, okay. The weak no. Speak your speech. Your I demands I just have to are hope weak and feeble-minded. Once they roused, go to war, Roman and hunger for blood talk. is. Shut up! Shut up and let me talk. Goodness me! I, <laughs> I have to hope that they go to war and then maybe. Um, 
the fact that I'm at war with the other one will please will please them and um, I think maybe yeah at that point we can choose whether we side with Rome or Carthage I don't know let's 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 see how things go we're quite away from that yet we do have a healthy surplus so I think I am going to invest in um, good fighters slowly building up a little bit of a uh, little bit of a garrison force Commander. and uh, end the turn. Okay, so Carthage is gaining the upper hand in Sicily, apparently. Um, uh, we researched and... okay, yeah. Lost our protection, our admiral has increased in rank, so let's, um, let's deal with that and... Uh, yeah, improve the public order, please. Uh, what else can we... Uh, more food. I think we've got plenty of food now. Let's go with that, and uh, yeah, you may as well have your household expanded. Um, good. What's happening in history? Um, particularly, so Ferris recalls his son and other officers from Tarentum, uh, the ha inhabitants of Cairo, make peace with the Romans. The Romans established colonies at Corsa and Pistrum. Impressed by Rome's defeat of Ferris, Ptolemy II sends a friendly embassy. So, um... And the Romans have indeed committed quite significant forces to trying to finish off Eprius. Um, they may not succeed this time, but uh, I think at some point they will. It's only a matter of time, I would say. So let's bring our army now towards what will become... What will Make become a front. Men. How are we doing on public order? Plus ten. We hunger for battle. Let's um Sign up, lads. We're a good and glorious life. Oh right, so actually no not enough manpower. Ooh dear me. Let's stop that down. Um Oh baggage train. Uh so that will put yeah, that will uh that will help with supply, um, obviously. What about archers? Yeah, we can recruit some archers. Let's go with that. So we recruited. Uh, sorry, we recruited. We researched logistics, which gives us a better barracks. And uh, where to go next? Military wharf. Well, I think the port of Massalia is effectively our military wharf. Um, minus five upkeep costs, though. And allows us to recruit champions. Um, or we can go with um, tactical drills, which increase the cost but improve morale. I'll tell you what, we'll go for organized supply first and then we'll go for tactical drills to get the uh, cost reduction and a, uh, a morale boost. So let's move our spy down here. Can I be of more assistance? So these are the Cantabri. And, um, we can't trade with them because we don't have a border. Um, they're still probably not going to trade with us at the moment because they've got nothing really to like us for. But I will declare war on the Vivisci the next turn and um, then they will back us. I just want to bring my army up to the border before I do it, so let's, uh, let's end the turn. Okay, local bandits have offered their services to intimidate the opposition. I don't think we need to go that far right now, do we? But I will leave that. Peace! Ah, I wondered what had happened. So, um, basically, uh, the Roman force was joined by another one. They seemed to move forward, um, but I don't think they actually fought a battle, and obviously now they've um, they've signed a peace treaty. Uh, a new faction has arisen. Oh, that's a long way away. Oh, Roman Carthage are now at war. Right, that is big. That is big. Um, so that may change things for us. Oh, interesting. Because Rome didn't—they did not seem to fight a battle. 
So maybe by... Maybe the Romans moved up troops to intimidate Epirius into... Um, into becoming a client state? Hmm. I don't suppose the Romans will like us a little bit more now. They're actually yellow-faced. So... Speak your speech, so that I may go to the baths. Hmm. What about Carthage? War with Rome, they do like that, but they obviously hate the fact that I've got a treaty with Epirius and treaties with Syracuse. That's you are now at war for speech, with, with where you Rome. Come from. Peace? Hmm. Speak quickly. Peace treaty? Do not expect... No. Roman. Okay, let's uh, let's just make sure I can get my army to the border first of all. We hunger. For Actually, let's bring the sp our spy back just to see. Treading soft. Yeah, she probably won't be able to see actually too Can much. Uh, assistance? Is there yeah, are there else? armies? Yeah, they're, they're back here. So, let's move Ready our army battle. to the border. Advance. And uh, yeah, we will now declare war. Greetings! Speak plainly and without idle. We will walk the warriors' road together then. So, will the will these guys now like me a bit more, or does it need a bit of time? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Would you like me more? The guards will have me listen to you, but. Ooh. Will you not give our people a little gold? You have much. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, Excellent. So what about a non My people pack? will feast me handsomely because of. All praise to the gods. They have lit. Good. So that worked out well for me. I don't suppose the these guys are at war with anybody else, are they? No. Uh, just worth checking to see whether anybody else's opinion of us has changed at all. No. Um. Uh, actually. No, I tell you what, I was going to look at the Averni because they seem to dislike each other, but we're already trading there, so... Wasting my time. Um, let's, uh, yeah, let's advance the game. Okay, guys, we've been, uh, we've been attacked. Um, on, our, on our border. Um, I think, you know, the balance of power is very much in their favour. Numbers-wise, they've got a slight advantage over us. Um, depends how good these troops are, I suppose. I imagine they'll be very good on the, the offensive. But um, what I'll do, because this video is already coming up to sort of 40 minutes or so, I'm going to save, uh, save the game here, pause the pause the video and then we'll fight this uh, this battle um, in the next video so I hope you've enjoyed the content if you have do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one for this battle thanks very much guys